Hi, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's begin that 5-minute timer. And we're going to talk in this video about the concept of key signatures and the order of the sharps and the flats. So if you remember our musical alphabet, we had A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we start repeating from there. We have those seven letters and only those seven letters. And all of those seven letters can also be a sharp or a flat or even the extremes that we covered in another video on double accidentals, double sharps or double flats. Now, when you are playing a piece of music in a key, there will be what is called a key signature. And just as a signature is when a person signs it, it's the way that the key signs its name. Now, it's a little bit more difficult than just putting, like at the beginning, it, it sure would be nice if we could just go A major. And maybe someday we will, but that's not the way that it has been done and it's not the way that it is done. At the beginning of every line, next to the clef, so I'll start with the clef, there's a series of either sharps or flats, or sometimes there's none of them. And those are what determine the key. And once they're placed in that spot, like for example, if I put an F sharp right here next to that treble clef, that's indicating that every time that we run across the pitch F, it's going to be an F sharp. And if I add another one, I'll put a C sharp. That means F sharp and C sharps will consist or uh, will um, persist all the way through the piece. So there'll be F sharps or C sharps every time that we run across those. Now the sharps and the flats always come in the same order. Notice that I started with F and C. That's because those are the first two sharps in uh, a key signature. They, uh, like I said, these always come in the same order. So it's a good idea to remember this as soon as possible. And I'll show you some mnemonic devices that you can use for this as well. So like I said, F and C are the first two sharps. And then from there we go F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Those are the sharps and the order of the sharps. There's many mnemonic devices that have been used to try to uh, uh, commit these sharps and the order of these sharps to memory. Probably my favorite one is Fred can't go driving after eight beers. Now, if if that works for you, then that's great. Now the only re the uh, sorry the reason that you only need to remember one of the um, sharps or the flats is because the other one is the opposite. If I put flats over here with an arrow pointing that way, that's the order that the flats always come in. It starts with B and it goes B E A D G C F. For some people, it's easier to remember the order of the flats because it actually starts with the word bead and then G C F at the end. And if you can just remember the bead and then the GCF, then you're good. So that would be the order of the sharps backwards from there, flats this way. They always appear in these orders. And I wanted to make sure that I covered this and made this clear before we really get into the construction of key signatures because um, it, it's, this never changes. This is a hard set rule that will we'll never change in the future, I promise, <laughs> okay? Um, that's it, and uh, not much to review. It's just that the sharps always come in this order, F, C, G, D, A, E, B, and the flats are in the opposite order, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, and it's only those. Those are our seven letters of the alphabet. Thank you.